Good day, my name is Richard and a warm welcome to Tutoring with Richard where we cover the South African school syllabus and native topics. If you would like to help grow this channel, consider supporting me on PayPal, Patreon or buy me a coffee. Links in the description box below. Today we're going to cover Power Machines in 6. The topic of this tutorial is Thermodynamics. Example 1.1 And the topic is Thermodynamics. The question is included in the video. We have been asked to issue a cautionary note. When doing these questions, please use the method I am going to show you as this is the method that is marked correct. Using your own method to answer questions could cost you marks even though your method and answer might be right. See the cautionary note at the beginning of the video. On a side note, watch until the end of the video. If you watch only the first 5 minutes, you will not gain a full understanding of what you need to do. There is no quick fix in power machines. It takes persistence, discipline and repetition. You have to use these steps in order to succeed. Let's get straight into it. First things first. The first law of thermodynamics states, Heat is work and work is heat. What that basically means is if you do work, you create heat. And heat in turn also creates work. It is done by this formula here. This formula proves it. The sum of dQ, which is heat, is equal to the sum of d work. This is the formula that we will be using in the sum. So, what we need to understand is the sum states in a certain steam plant, the turbine develops 1000 kilowatts. So, that means work done. So, work one develops 1000 kilowatts. The heat applied to the steam in the boiler is 2800 kilojoules. So, Q1 is 2,800 kilojoules per kg. The heat rejected by the system to the cooling water in the condenser is 2,100 kilojoules. So, to do with heat again, 2,100 kilojoules per kg. And finally, and the feed pump work required to pump the condensate back up into the boiler is 5 kilowatts. So, our work 2 is 5 kilowatts of power. Calculate the steam flow in the cycle. Okay. So, our steam flow is mass of steam times our sum of dQ, in this case it will be negative, equals our sum of d work. So, what we need to calculate is ms. ms times 2800 minus 2100 equals 1000 minus 5. So, what we need to do is take this and move it over here. So, ms is equal to 1000 minus 5 all over 2800 minus 2100. And all these are in brackets. And our total sum, our mass of steam, is 1,421 
kg per second. That is the mass of our steam. So, and also, this is what they're talking about. This is the system they are talking about. First, we have our boiler. Then that goes from the boiler, that goes to the turbine. That goes to the turbine. After the turbine, it comes down to a condenser. After it comes down to the condenser, it goes via feed pump. After the condenser, it goes to the feed pump. And then from the feed pump, it goes to the boiler. So as you can see, this is the model that we're working with. Now the steam stays constant. The mass of steam stays constant at each stage. And also, when dealing with steam, we try very hard to keep the steam or the water just hot enough that it'll turn back into steam with the least amount of heat applied to it. So that is what we are trying to do. That is the most efficient way of, of taking steam from the boiler to the turbine and then the condenser. The condenser condenses it just enough so that it can be fed by the feed pump back to the boiler. And then the cycle continues over and over again. But what you want, and I will repeat this as many times as I need to, you want the least possible amount of energy used to heat the water back up in order to use the steam. So you condense it just to the point where it will boil. To the point just before it boils. Before it turns into vapor again. Before it turns into steam again. So just at the point of condensation. That's where you leave it. And then you feed pump it back to the boiler. And then that's how the boiler can run quite efficiently after that. If you found this tutorial helpful, please give it a like and subscribe. It helps grow the channel. Positive feedback is most welcome. If you would like more videos like this, consider supporting me on PayPal, Patreon or buy me a coffee. Links in the description box below. Be at peace, be kind to each other and remember, passing well is achievable. Have a great day. Looking forward to seeing you in the next video.